the innovative uh, user interface, then you will be able to create the, as we call it, like my sync page, to share it with others, have your profile, group of friends or people or bloggers following you, and also uh, as the, the usual uh, kind of notification and subscriptions uh, that you are uh, used to get from the, uh, from the systems. And uh, it's, uh, I think it's important uh, to, uh, to remind that uh, this is the tool that uh, on the first hand it will provide you, as I call it, on uh, the information on one click. So that of course if you want to go like really in details, so you will have to then also to open and go to the sources, to the particular news items and read it if you want to have like really deep uh, <coughs> knowledge on the topic. But uh, the Think3 will uh, give you the opportunity in a really short time and very easily to have the clear overview and understanding what's going on. And with this is uh, uh, connected to the first question that I have. So do you understand the aim of Think3? And pre because we already heard that uh, that uh, some of you yes. So if there is uh, somebody who doesn't understand, so please tell us because it's important for us to know what uh, how we should uh, uh, describe uh, the project maybe in a better way. It, it, it's not perfectly clear to me yet. Uh, is, is your objective to create a platform that would be public and available for everybody to access to help analyze what's being said about certain topics? Uh, would you have to sign up to it? Uh, how are you going to find the blogs? Do you select the blogs? Can people say, I want my blog on Sim3 